Hello everyone, welcome in. My name is Kai Zamit. I'm a director, cinematographer and writer based in the south of the UK. And today in this video, thanks to your lovely recommendations, we're going to be checking out all the animated shorts from Honkai Star Rail. So let's go, shall we? Play the tapes. I'm excited about this. This is my first experience with the Hoyo universe. So, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Layers of three. Foreground, my ground, background. When you get animation like that, it normally means it's quite expensive, or at least they, they know how their framing works, or at least composition. That's all. Oh, that was nice. Why that flowed up her arm? I assume it's a... Oh. That's a guy, right? Oh, I struggle at first. Oh, yeah, it was a woman, yeah. Oh, she evil. Oh. As clouds that cover the heavens, will the knights protect the Sienjo? Draw. Yes, Master. Oh, okay. I see what narrative this is. Will the knights protect the Sienjo? Oh, that's nice. The dual layers and the mix. Oh, I... Is she being possessed? Red eyes with the light trails. Oh no, her eyes are red. See what I mean with the layers of three? Foreground them, tree, mayground, background, colour palette. Oh, that was a beautiful transition. Mate, the music is epic! With the diegetic sound. Oh mate, this is why I love anime. It's a bad memory. Oh, he's older. He doesn't recognize us. So it is with the Maras. <laughs> to become stricken with Mara is to be a long life species. If I too become stricken in times hereafter, oh, okay. Let's not hold back. She's she's got that, isn't she? Master. And this is in bat take her or well, try and take her down. <laughs> it's almost like a, a, a full circle story. I love the delicacy with it. Like the piano. Oh, that's a shame. But that will make him like... Oh, wow! It's the smoke, it's the haze, isn't it? I bet he becomes like really powerful because of this. If he survives. He's got to. Wow. Really powerful, really strong characters in such a short amount of time. You don't get along with these characters. You already feel invested. Oh, I like that, the way the camera's coming out. Full power mode. Your gift of instruction. And repay in this strike. Wow. She gonna? Oh, she looks normal. Oh, that was nice. She woke up. It almost looked like she kept became a normal self then for a moment. Wow, the strings, the piano. Is that full circle narrative I was talking about? Oh, that's cool. A cloud knight must never let slip their weapon. Nor let slack in their form. <laughs> Though, you'll have to grow a little taller before the knights will have. It's very pretty looking, isn't it? The way they're doing all the the light raising it. <laughs> and the dust particles. You do. It is a difficult road. Gorgeous. But that's the road you took, right, General? Is a game like this? It's lovely. Dolling forward piano. Seeing as you're wow. so full of fighting spirit. Yeah. I won't hold back. Wow, this is fantastic. Oh, is that it? Oh, man, my eyes water a little bit. That bit is so powerful. That was the best four and a half minutes I've seen in absolutely ages. Wow. Absolutely blowing me away, that is. Oh, I believe if you enjoy watching anime, watching and playing Honkai Star Rail, you are most definitely a creative person. And from one creative to another, I know how difficult it can be. 
up here. And from me to you as an advocate for mental health, thankfully, whatever you are dealing with, you don't have to go through it alone. And therapy can give you the tools to approach your life in a very different way. Unfortunately, finding a therapist can be hard and finding the right therapist can be even harder. Personally speaking, I had three different therapists until I found the one for me. And thanks to therapy, I now have a wife and two very awesome children. Granted, they give me wrinkles. That is why BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy accessible. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easy because it's online, it's remote, and by filling out just a few questions, BetterHelp can match you with a credentialed therapist in as little as a few days. And if you don't really fit with that therapist, which is a common thing with therapy, you can easily switch to a new one at no additional cost. As I said earlier, I didn't find mine immediately. It took me a few tries. It's so easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. All you have to do is click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash kaizamit. Not only does that link help support this channel, it also gets you 10% off your first month with BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. So if you're struggling with anything at all, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. And a huge thank you to BetterHelp for supporting this channel. Now with a clear mind, let's get back to these Honkai Star Rail animated shorts. Wow, it's got two dragons in the title. Sounds exciting. Oh, they love these particle effects, don't they? Either it be petals or Cheers. dust. <laughs> Makes it really pretty. Hey, why the frown you sing? You too, Lune. The characters are all very pretty looking, aren't they? <laughs> Let them off the hook by love it. They're so sore from losing to Jing Liu. <laughs> Want a rematch? I'm always available. So do each of these animations introduce us to a new character that we get to play in a game or something? What the fuck is that? Is this a dream, like an omen or something? A vision? How long will you keep running? Oh. I have to leave. Leave. You'll find no refuge. Among the stars. Wow. Again, look at the layers, the color palette. The elder succession is as eternal and unyielding as the ancient sea. That past is yours. No, you are my reincarnation. A mirror image. Oh. A past life sin must be repaid in this one. Not you. Are they spirit powers? Are they like... For those who defy creed and break the succession. Oh, they're going to have a fucking fight, are they? It's the only redemption. Mate, I give them that. The fucking fight scenes are incredible. Wow, the mix, the sound mix. Great, you know, making that a Dutch angle. Little things. A criminal who shows no sign of remorse deserves no mercy. Mate, these fucking fight scenes are crazy. That's why I love anime, man. You don't get it anywhere else. Oh shit. Is there a way to force him to get better? Oh. Is this like the bridge of a story? Normally you get a bridge of a story. Fung guilty of unpardonable sin. In light of past merit, the sentence shall be commuted to molting rebirth and eternal banishment. Why did you take Is that the general from the first one? Hand over the transmutation, Arcana Man. The Prefectors will spare Why did you life. do this? It's all because of you. Oh, the voice acting is really good. The range, because of you. I love it when actors really open up their range. Is his eyes going to wake up, open up, or is he going to be reborn? Starting today, you are one of the Express Crew. Attention! The Express is about to make the 
You always get those fucking, like, kiddie characters, don't you? They're all about, like, kawaii and... Holy shit! I will blaze. Mate, will anime, the momentum. Mate, the layers on it. Oh, he's higher than him. That was the power status, it changed. Using the, the framing. I could see it immediately. Wow, the way they cut from epic sound effects to then just ambience and nothing. Shit, that's masterful. Go then. Wave. And don't look back. Wow. What character growth? Quit daydreaming. <laughs> Give me a smile. Another one. Wow. Say cheese. <laughs> huh? Are you all right? Uh, just Mate, make my eyes water all this shit. Huh? So what good. It's because it's beautiful, it be the watching. stories are powerful, the music is just so... The momentum build is just incredible. But it's art, it's so beautiful. The three layers, the colour palettes. Wow. If they're all like this, I'll have... My eyes are going to be like really salty and dry at the end of this. Jesus. Sparkling Tricks, this one's called. The world's just like a big non-stop circus. So oh, is this, is this a villain? All day and night. Oh, is this a world-building character? Lions leaping through fire hoops. Monkeys juggling bowls. The music. I'm happy being a side character in the background. Cheering on those who have the limelight. Then Very the pretty looking, isn't it? Performance. Bang! Sparkling like fireworks into brilliant colors. Okay, I was right. It's got to be a villain. You think the leading character would dare do this? Oh, was that it? God, that was short. But immediately I could tell it was um, someone of an antagonist because of the way the music, the way the camera movement was. It's stuff like that. You can even bear in mind these are short films, yeah? Short films are very difficult. And bear in mind I'm a cold caller. This is the first time I've ever seen any of this Hoyo verse stuff. If, even if I'm even saying that correctly. But yet, as I said, with short films, you have very little time to get your characters to build that, that first impression. You have seven seconds, okay? It's a seven second rule of marketing. And immediately, that marketing told me who she roughly was and what sort of team she plays for. But yeah, wow. very The marketing team on this is, they're doing really well. Really well. It's just, I immediately understand what I've got. I'm watching and it's just, it's sublime content. It really is. And that one was so bloody quick, I couldn't even talk about the filmmaking. I'm just trying to make heads and tails of it all. <laughs> Hopefully I can talk a little bit more about the filmmaking in the next one. Immediately drawing me in with the diegetic sound, the world sounds. Is this? It's what the Sienjo people use in their tradition. Again, look at their layers. Dragon's form. Beautiful design. Put them on. You two will be performing shortly. Is this like a, a f part of a full anime or something? Or are these just little bits? These are so good. The devil in the detail. The transitions on these are so smooth. Oh, is that guy again? Oh, I like that that guy. So 
So I'm starting to build an impression now, last impression with these characters. The Jade Gate shines in brilliant solar might. Both heaven and earth alike. Oh, interesting art style. Old stories, different art style. Lord, the sun, the dragon. Fuck you now, that's amazing. As echoing through the clouds, the lions roar. Great rains, the dragon shakes from the skies. As but look at the layers, guys. They still got it. They're using ink splats. And rain imbue the mountain air. The one without the other. Half the spell. In eagle's grasp, the Sien Joe starts to quake. Very clever use of that red. Where the camera's moving in that 4D space still. Because the they're using foreground and barren sands elements. And the dragon, now deprived of water's home. The lion, weak from battle, all alone. Oh, that's clever. Numbered in the order ten to one. How then is the battle to be won? This is fantastic storytelling, isn't it? <laughs> Who's doing that? Is that her or is that? Oh, it's that boy in it. Um, bloke with the water powers. Nice. Really nice frame narrative, this. The score. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> You've always got those characters, those ears, haven't you? Again, they're using the petals, the layers, that's how they make it look very pretty. Yeah. That was really nice, that was really good um, framed narrative, you know, you had sort of your beginning and your end, but they told a different story in the middle, that's what framed narrative is. But the use of a 2D plane, and they, by having, uh, changing all the elements up to make it a 4D plane, just made that look fantastic, and the use of the, the way they were telling where your eye should go, very very clever and it's the score score or, or audio is 70 percent of your picture this is why horror films get away with really rubbish visuals or dark you can't see what's going on because 70 percent of the audio is there to lift it and bring it to life to make it flow so here we go from a the beginning to b the very end on a lovely smooth journey and with every one of these i've had nothing but a, a fantastic time from beginning a to point b the end i'm not gonna lie i'm having a blast watching these it's making me want to jump on crunchy roll soon as i've the finished them all is no different than the sea rondo across Every countless calpes surface on a starless night so we have our non-diegetic sound that's the voice over talking to us the voice of god if you're looking at Are film psychology <laughs> again look at the prettiness then Using texture and a sort of composition. Dance. Lens flares and the bokeh orbs. My gaze has lingered on her for quite a while. And tonight I initiate our first engagement. A galaxy ranger. As Gorgeous character designs, aren't they? The rumors suggest. A blend of nobility and reticence. Yet, in this nocturnal hunt, the ranger is not the only one who hunts. At this distance, you're more enchanting than you seem. Beautiful uh, colour palette, using really strong sepia. Without a doubt, she seeks the watchmaker's legacy. And then they in stripped it. Game, Everyone lies, but memories do not. 
cuts the sound effects, look at these fast cuts. So you're using the background elements to make you feel like you're in a 4D space. Mm. Very clever it's use. It's very sexy, isn't it? Even though it's just anime. Some people hold on to memories while others are haunted by them, unable to escape. That is why I took action. Look at these orbiting strafes, yeah? I want to know what she is. It's just two people dancing, yet they make it look so sexy. Many close ups, the looks. The IPC, the Garden of Recollection, Fools, the Nameless, and the Annihilation Gang. They should have been present, but Duke Inferno is dead. He and his children won't be attending. What have you done, beautiful ranger? Wow, the storytelling this is it's really deep. Excuse me, are you asking me? Oh, she turned. She changed the narrative. Wow. Using a color palette here to really tell you who has the power status on screen. Yikes. Look at all this psychology, subliminal messages that they're using. Hunter became the hunted. The Annihilation Gang. My gaze has lingered on her for quite a while. And tonight is our final engagement. Wow, the fucking narrative on this is crazy. Galaxy Ranger. No. I've made a grave mistake. It's lovely draw distance they're doing on the Dutch angle. Using the shadows. Everyone has a past. But for some, their past is a silent abyss filled with those who drowned in it. Annihilation Gang. Annihilation Gang. Very intriguing, this story. I like this one. Because it's so different from the others. Yeah. Those guys. What I loved about it was the, the, the power status of the characters and how they were framing them and they're doing the close-ups of the the one that initiated the dance. And you can see immediately on screen, remember I'm a cold caller to this. I, in my mind, I was like, I bet any money she's like ridiculously powerful. And it turned out that, yeah, that she completely sw switched it over. And you could see it using, without any words. It was just, yeah, that was really, it was really good. I feel that one's more about psychology and how they use the camera to make you feel that and more about the colour palette, especially with the, the sepia thing. But it's still it's very, like, not quite raunchy, but it, was, it had quite a bit of a, a sex appeal to it, I felt. And uh, again, it's just two cartoon drawings, but yet you could, you could feel the energy and the chemistry there. Yeah, I imagine people that like a lot of waifus and things like that would, would love that. <laughs> would love that one. Wow. This would have been better if it had sa sound effects. Your color. Sorry. Was that an advert within the game itself? What? I, I don't understand the Robin. I understand it was an advert. It looked like an advert. 35 seconds, sort of territory in commercial space. But if that had sound effects, 
like with the lid shutting and things like that, I think that would have been way more powerful. The reason why I like diegetic, di diegetic, if I can say the fucking word, the reason why I like the diegetic sound as in sound effects of the world mixed with the soundtrack, because it gives you a full mix. The best, like the other ones that we've watched, all of them had full mixes, which made them more powerful because you're like, what is sound effect? What is score? What is world sound, yeah? And it just makes it more richer. Sometimes when you just get a soundtrack, uh, a soundtrack, sorry, it can really make you feel like you're lacking something. Or it does me personally, the amount of content I've seen and studied over the years. Yeah, for me, I'm like, oh, it's missing something. With the other ones, I'm so drawn into. Imagine you're, it's a body and it's missing a limb, for example. There's something missing, and that's exactly how I feel when I watch some of these. And sometimes you will probably feel the same, but don't understand why. And that's what it is. These are getting shorter now, aren't they? It's a shame. Oh, right? shriveled faced soul. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron. So that what star was this? Fabricate lies and make false vows. Oh, okay. Question. Are you an Avgen from Sigonia? Yes. It's almost got like, um... Are you your clan's sole survivor? <laughs> what a difference in anime style or, or, or art style? You should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Oh, is this a... Do you hate character build up? wish to destroy this world with your own hands? Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Really and interesting, though, this art style. Happy to make that wager. They're, those art styles are very, are very intriguing. That they're, they're the type of art styles that you get, which are. Normally when you get art styles like that, that's because they're built up of elements that are put together. When you get like the traditional anime that we've just been watching prior to that, it's very, all feels like it's part of one plane. And that's why when you look at them, they're immediately like, well, what's something's off here? I can't quite work out what it is because it's more of a, has more of a 2D plane where the other anime style, as I said, has more of a 3D plane, even though it's a 2D using 2D animation. I've really enjoyed these. Your humble oh, here we go, see the animation style. At your disposal. Oh, I see him. Just a cog in the machine known as the Strategic Investment Department. See with the letters, the world building. Yeah, it looks like we're in a 3D the space. Friend. It's like Persona art style, isn't it? I love it. Use me as you wish. Even stab me in the back if you see fit. I don't make deals that don't pay off. So I hope you don't disappoint me. I'm going to take this opportunity to actually break down one very quickly. I'm going to break down the flash and talk about the elements that they use to enhance the filmmaking or enhance their drawings. Granted, I am not an illustrator or an animator or anything like that, but I can look at the filmmaking techniques used and explain to you why they had more of an impact on me as a person, as a viewer, and especially as I was a cold caller because this was the one anime animation, should we say, that sold it on me. Then as soon as I watched it, I was hooked. Let's find out why, shall we? Straight away, we got our pre-cards. Okay, so this is who is paying for it. But the main thing that they did is before you saw any visuals, you hear a diegetic sound. You hear the world building ambience. Yeah, the wind blowing. The scary wind sound effects. Something's not right. You know something's happening. Okay, so earlier on I was talking about layers, okay, and what I've noticed with these Honkai animated shorts for Star Rail at least, because I believe there's another Honkai, isn't there, which I've not checked out, but look at the layers, yeah, got your foreground elements which are moving in one place, okay, so let me go back five, so these elements are going up, yeah, the background is a set element, but it's moving backwards, so the camera's moving back, so that looks like it's also moving, see? But they're confusing us by having these elements moving in a different direction from that. So it looks like there's multiple layers there. And then when it comes to drawings, especially with these Honkai ones, the, they love using these particle effects as well as the de de uh, de debris. <laughs> debris. <laughs> See? See it all moving. And then you've got your color palette in the background, which is then your background element. So you've got your foreground, your mayground, and your background. But because it's all moving, 
that's why it has that beautiful look like it looks like the composition as in your framing is very full and then we add another dimension another layer to it of our foreground element because it transitions through again look at this more with the layers first layer second layer back layer yeah foreground may ground background this they're always doing it and that's why that animation looks so good it looks so full and that's how you make your frame and you should be doing that with your framing anyway be it that you're an illustrator a photographer or a filmmaker yeah you don't always have to do it it depends on what it is especially when it comes to film because you normally you have a, a wide angle lens with lots of layers because it's the world that you're showing off but normally when you have stuff like this you need the multiple layers beautiful transition so that transition there got a crossfade goes up the sword yeah it's going up from the front again look look at the layers look at these layers see them it's the frozen people in the background but it's making it look like there's loads more going on and look they're using the wind as well to give us that look so if you imagine this is your frame and this is your picture that you want to do yeah all they've done here is you've got your foreground element which is our um antagonist for this for example you've got our other character here and you've got all these elements but look they've added like these little snowy ice particles mixed with the wind so if this was a drawing add your wind in use these particles to break up the layers put them over the characters does it go over her back let's go back five does it go over her at all no, it's always in front of her where the where they want you to be looking because they want her nice and clean. They want her as a clean slate or a clean element in this imagery. Listen to the mix, the sound mix. How loud he is. Getting louder and louder as he's in focus. And look at the way they've done him. Look, look at this. They want you to look over here because it's the brightest and lightest part on screen. And it's a different colour. So like, what's that? But yet when you look at the composition, he's just off the centre. He's more on the left side. Keep pushing the fucking caption button. And again, look at the way he's done elements, yeah? So there's only technically two elements, right? May ground and background. No, the wind again is tre and these snowy particles are treated as a third element. And that's why again a shot that's close up like this looks stunning. And also they covered his eye up here makes it look more intense because we're looking here if you want your eyeballs to look more powerful as in you want your audience to look at an eye what it is is a catchment okay and that's what this little bit of light here and i do it here on my setup here and i do it a lot well i do it always on anything that i am filming and even on the wide you don't do it uh, because you can't bring the lights in close enough and also you're showing off the world but when you get into your close-ups and you want people to start looking at eyes why do we want to do that? Because this is how you show emotion. And this is also where you want your audience to look because we want them to connect visually. The reason why I bring up the hair over the eye is the guy, the guy in the last one, you could see his eye. And I find that that takes, sometimes when you see the eye under the hair, it takes away from the animation. I want to be able to just see parts of the face because it makes me look harder. Does that make sense? And look at this. Why does this look powerful and epic you've got a nice big wide and look at the dutch angle look at the horizon and look at the power status i know he's powerful but you have to do it you have to be careful because she was looking down at him in the first shot and so and what that does is it can make your characters look weak so he could look potentially weak do you think well obviously he's inferior to her immediately i thought that even if it was subconsciously but the way he was looking, I was like, the way he was staring with what, one eye, I was like, oh, hang on, I, I think he's quite powerful. The way his cape is flapping. And then my questions that I had in my head were answered with this shot alone. Because look at the power status here. I know she's powerful just because she has a higher ground. And look how far up she is in the space, the power status on screen. But look at his wide stance. Blade camera is shooting up power status that's why when you get things like firefighters or police and things like that 
they always try to when they photograph them they always level with you because they want to tell you something and they and they want you to feel like you're on level or they will always film them shoot up at them so they look more powerful in camera or in the world again look at the elements one two three i won't say it anymore because you're getting the idea now aren't you but remember i was talking about the i immediately thought she was bad oh let me go back five that's quite an important thing that happened there is it, it wasn't just the red eye normally red eyes is a very easy simple to understand but it was how they've done it that dull black at the top and by having that dull black at the top rolling into the red it told me that something wasn't right that she wasn't herself you normally you do that because they lose the pupil and that's why we cut to this guy look you can see his little eye you know he's catchment he's moving and they do that because it adds a little bit more realism to it and look interestingly you can see his eyebrow now because they want you to really make him more human more sympathetic by covering it all up he would have looked more aggressive but by interesting by putting the eyebrow in it makes him more approachable more i could tell that he was the hero yeah the protagonist gorgeous and obviously he's got pupil in that but even though we're looking down at him technically when i looked at them i was like well i think he's weaker than her something that's not quite right because the way the camera is looking down at him interesting that beautiful transition there okay what they did there is a match cut yeah that's a match cut it's pretty much self-explanatory it looks exactly like the previous shot let me go back five and look at her face let's see look like it's rolling in and look at this lighting using the shadow to tell us that you know part of the darkness of it should we say but they're using a low key lighting yeah the other guy was all wrapped around light in the face wasn't he heed this oath as clouds that cover the heavens will the knights protect the Sienjo? and see here you can see her pupil now obviously we know that she's a human and look we can see her eyebrows and all the other elements but look at the lighting of it so with anime it's really interesting you use obviously your shadows and drawings and things like that to in your drawings beg your pardon to give you use light it's, if you can sculpt your light in your drawings your animations or illustrations whatever it is it will bring your characters more to life look at the lighting huge backdrops here she's got a bit of an edge light yeah what we try to do in in real life is we try to get a triangle here normally because it's a style and it's called a rembrandt triangle with anime they i like it when they streak it right across the eye and they do something like this because it gives you rather than putting a rembrandt triangle here because where the light's coming in they'll just blaster here and cover all this in shadow you can do that with anime where in real life you're a bit like oh well, it don't look right where if you put a rembrandt triangle it probably look a bit too soft where they're trying to go for a stylistic look here aren't they yes, master. beautiful i love this look how powerful that looked how amazing we had that beautiful we had that mix of the two voices The elements are going and look at the way they've drawn him we are level with him we we are with him we know that this is our character they told me in this instant that this is a character who we should be rooting for because we are now level with his eye yeah that's how kind of it works even if it's subconsciously what they call that is subtext story within a story i love this subtle smiling that she's doing like she's almost proud to see him beautiful with the melodies as well yeah she doesn't fucking hold back does she and it's funny what is it a couple of frames here we are by having this few frames in here it tells us how he's feeling but why remember earlier on i was talking about the eye tells us everything emotion is conveyed here that is why if we didn't see this shot we wouldn't know that he was shocked but it's his it's his eye if you covered up half his mouth i can still see that he's shocked by the way the eyes you don't realize actually how powerful the eyes are even though he's missing an eye we can still see it even if it was a character had a blindfold on or no eyes but i still showing this shot and the way their eyebrows are and they're, they're they're contorted here it will tell you that he's shocked or they are shocked wow did they frame it into the eye let me go back 
going on. They went straight into his eye. They were really pushing it. And they kept with her momentum, yeah? They used the kinetic editing. Yeah, so this is the kinetic flow in storytelling, so the, the thread of storytelling. We're going with her. These streaks, by the way, is what told me that she was also evil. Straight in there. Lovely, but still got the elements. So look, look at this blur effect of the wind. Mate, these guys are masters. Wow. And then they had that delay. Because they had that delay before she got there, it looked so much more epic. Wow. And be also, another thing, look at, the, look at the composition on it. Look how far up they are. They're up here. Why the fuck are they up there? Because they want to draw you up there. Really interesting. Look at the Dutch angle, as in the axis is off. Okay. All the way up here, they're playing and making you look, and it's making it look more epic. You're concentrating on the length of, of it, yeah? If they had widescreen bars, as in make it more cinematic, that would have been another way of doing it, but they're using a shadow here to lose probably about a third of the image. Stunning. So good. Again, look, still got the bloody layers. Foreground, lean up to our main ground, background, and they've got little extra dust particles moving about, or boulders. Wow. Beautiful. Do you see that? So what they're doing is they're drawing around him in post-production. So what they do is you draw around your character. It, it, they're basically just layers. But it's a grand, it's a fantastic way to of a transition. They call it a wipe to go into here. Look at the color palette. Why does this look powerful, cinematic almost? Because they are backlit. The sun is really high. They, they, to be fair, if that was real life, you probably wouldn't have it like that because you end up getting overexposed. But, and also they'd be absolutely covered. Because it's, you got to think, why, the lighting's here, yeah? But how the fuck has he got it across his forehead here? Yet she's masked. Because it doesn't really matter when it comes to anime. It doesn't have to make sense in your illustrations while the light's there. Because to do this, you'd actually have to have a mirror down here or a reflector bouncing up. But they do it because they want you to show that he's more of an angelic character. He's youthful. He's innocent, should we say. And it makes her look more powerful. Did they do that later on? They probably did it later on as well. Look at the colour palette. Again, the sweat coming off. Go back into it. Just Again, they're using the elements. Little elements like this stuff here. And look. And the way the light is bouncing off the sword. It's very subtle. Masters. That's why this to me looks very expensive and it's just stunning. Beautiful, nice cross transition. Again, we're using the thread of storytelling here to flow. Okay. And they're doing little clash zooms. So it looks like they are... Oh, they... Oh, they're oh, interesting. They change it black and white on the clashes. So they're going in. The camera is zooming in ever so slightly. Interesting. When you start breaking it down frame by frame, look at the motion. Boop, boop, boop. And he jumps over here. Because obviously it's not working, obviously, 24 frames per second. It's multiple drawings, but it's really interesting. And they go black and white to really make it the impact show. How clever. What I was looking for was how they were they zooming in i thought they were zooming in on every clash that's what i thought it was that was drawing my attention so then they hit each other oh they are they are zooming in Pop. and then they're striking down very very all different ones different styles but i can see they're not all black and white it's just every now and then it's funny when you look at it like this it was really shit didn't it <laughs> like just the drawings you can clearly see how primitive they are but yet, when you use the blackness, or going black and white with the harsh light in there, it's enough to... Look, look at the, the... It's a bit like when you have fight scenes that you take out a frame on impact. It makes it more impactful. That's what they're doing here. And I thought they were zooming in. But that's what they're doing. 70% of this is it's the audio that's doing it. It's the audio that is lifting this to the next level. And you have to do that with anime. The old school 90s anime, you just have like some cicadas and a little bit of a school bell going off. And that'd be enough with the wind. Where nowadays with stuff like this, it's just, you can really, oh, chef's kiss is what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. 
Really like that. Look at the way they show that he's evil. Look at the camera position, yeah? We are below his chin looking up. And it's stunning. Again, using the redness. Colour is a great way to show how someone is feeling. And we're getting this with this, with the blue. Blue emotion, blue feeling of sadness into the heat anger. Something's not right. See, we know this is really interesting. We know they're powerful, but you normally would find with something like this that you'd be on level with them to really show that they're scared. But yet they shot them up still because of her in the background. He doesn't recognize her. And the way she's drawing in, if, she, if that was level, the camera was level with her, as in the drawing was level with her, this character, she would have lost her power status. So it is with the Mara. Interesting, isn't it? Wow. Look at the way the camera's always moving. They're always trying to zoom in and out. And that is cinema, yeah? That's what cinema means. Movement comes from the term, Latin term, of kinema. Yet, when she's talking about now, as in, if I ever get sick or whatever, stricken with this disease or whatever it is that turns her evil, look at where the camera is. You notice the camera has come right up. Why do you think the camera's come right up and it's making... It, it makes us feel different about her. Where the last one, she was really powerful, wasn't she? Yeah? Let's go back. Where is it? Here. Look at her power status on screen here. She's the master. We know she's powerful. But here, why are we level? Because she's talking to her peer. They want us to be level with her. We are leveling with her. She's telling us what to do if, they, if something happens. She's not this powerful master. She's a human being. Clever, isn't it? But the camera's moving in, drawing us in, so it's dollying forward, yeah? Dolly means moving forward or backwards. Back. And you find that if you keep doing that, you keep zooming in, dollying, or in this case, zooming in, it will give you that powerful... It could be anything. It could be a look. It could be a certain type of dialogue. Powerful. Yes. Catchment in his eyes, making him look. And it's moving up and down. It makes him look human. The piano. No, it's a string, sorry. Look at this. Where are, where are we? Even though she's on her knees, she still looks quite powerful, but we're in level with her. Because she's human. Beautiful. Again, look at the eyeballs, man. Seriously, they're telling me everything I need to know. And the sound head. I don't mind. Has he always got one eye missing? Is that like a feature of this character? Yeah, gorgeous. I love it. It tells you everything. Mm. That's why at the end when she gets beaten and she doesn't have that, she looks more human. You, you can tell it all. Wow. I love that. It's the smoke and haze of the battle that makes this look more epic. Imagine what it'd look like if you didn't have any of this. It looks so shit, wouldn't it? And this, that just falling would look cool. But it's that <laughs> hiding the detail that makes it look more epic. And that's the thing with anime. It's always about the background elements. It's always about the movement of the wind is how you emphasize speed. Corridor Digital, they do VFX guys. They do fantastic their own animated videos. And, you, and they take hard elements from anime, moving the background to show you what it looks like when you mix real life with an anime. It looks really strange, but it's clever though. Look at this Dutch angle. Sound effects for heels. Don't see her eyes. How gorgeous is this? So powerful. I love it. But look at the little dust particles. The elements are still there, guys. Look. One, two, three. With a little bit of light on her nose. And the edge here. Like, lighting doesn't make sense, but I don't care. It's beautiful. That to me, if you could see her eyes, I don't feel like it would be as powerful as it is with the music, with the strings. I love this, just that, the breathing, yeah, the foley of his body armour and things. It makes you feel, he, I understood in this moment, he knew what he has to do. Because we're, we're playing with that pre-framed narrative, yeah? You've got the begin. You've got this story, and then you've got the story in between it. We're seeing all these flashbacks using color. Sees I. Farewell, 
And look at, they were showing how powerful he's by moving back. The big reveal. This is fucking stunning. This bit, all the layers, the particles. Oh, mate, I just, I love anime. I used to watch anime every single day. I had to calm it down in the end. It was getting a bit too much. I was becoming too uh, addicted to it. And I've done, I've done that for years and years and years. So this is, I've had a nice long gap for about a year. Maybe it's time to come back. He's making me miss it. Probably why my eyes are watering. This was the only bit I struggled to hear in what he was saying. The mix was so close with what he was saying. I can hear him. And bear in mind, I've got Dolby Atmos going on here. So the voices are really brought forward in the mix. Yeah, I imagine that could have been quite difficult for some. I would have knocked him up about another 10% so you can hear his voice. Oh, I love the growl. Look at that. Cutting up to the air just tells you you don't have to see it. Sometimes you don't have to see things. Let your imagination do the job. This bit here. Even though her pupils are not there, look at the way they've done it. The shadow still rolls into it, but there's a little bit of light here. And by doing that, it made her look human again, like his old master. Let me go back five and play into it. No, fuck it. Let's go back ten. And they've changed the frame rate, gone slow motion to really... What a stunning, stunning way of doing it. It really is. Changing the frame rate so it goes even slower. And so in this case, uh, less drawings. And just... Ah, oh, the music. And turning it to line work. What an interesting way of doing it. I love it, rather than just a fade to white. Oh, the... Masters. Absolutely masters. And then bin to the light, yeah? And then we get our full circle. So you've got a difference here. I don't know if that, without going back, I don't know if that tree's growing anymore, but the sun... It looks different, yeah, but look at the colour palette now, because we are in present times. Yeah, she hasn't got a massive light on her, and he, he just, it looks different. He's less shadow. But look at the layers. One, two, three. And they use these orb, these spheres of light to, like this bokeh here. See it? To give you more dimension. Guys, put that in your stuff. It makes the world of difference. Even if you're working in fucking 3D animation, stick that in. It's all about texture on your screens. In real life, we use smoke or haze, or we use smoke to show the light, which then shows dust particles. Again, look at the movement. Camera's moving. Giving us that cinematic look. See, it's not moving here, because it's fine, we don't need to. Because then when, it build, when he moves in a second, I think it does, it builds up that moment. That moment. And look at the way this is moving. I want to be like you, General. I want to be a famous Sienjo legend. I love it. <laughs> you do. It is a difficult road. But that's the road you took, right, General? Cool, isn't it? Look at this. Overexposure, almost giving like a film halation look. As if it's been captured on film. It's fine to overexpose sometimes. It just builds up the textures. Yeah, it's all part of it. You don't always need the detail. Oh mate, see that little fucking little what was that little wisp? But that's the road you took, right, General? That little wisp. Where are you? That little wisp. Wow. It, it caught my eye. It just makes it look believable because there's hardly any music. It's just using the ambience of the world. Love it. Let's go back five. That pause, and then the camera came in. Music starts to play. Now we're dollying forward. <laughs> It makes it more powerful because it wasn't dollying in earlier. Yeah, there's moments when you want the camera to move because it's narrative driven. Remember that. Seeing as you're so full of fighting spirit. Yeah. Hmm. I won't hold back. Let me go back. You know shadow is on his face. Seeing it looks more so dramatic. Yeah. yeah. It looks more powerful, more cinematic. Where this what this shot. 
it doesn't. I think if they added a bit more shadow across his face, a bit more shadow along here, that a bit more contrasty, I think that would have worked a little bit nicer. But I think maybe they didn't do that because they wanted to keep it very light-hearted, if that makes sense, because it's a lovely, beautiful imagery. It's like a nice way to, to end your story. Beautiful. Honkai Star Realm. Not going to lie, I'm absolutely sold. It's either done two things for me. It's either going to make me jump on Crunchyroll at lunchtime, <laughs> or it's going to make me want to have a go of it, because I know it's a, an RPG, if I remember correctly, from what I read. But yeah, either way, I had an absolute blast today. Loved them. Feel really inspired about just being a filmmaker and a storyteller. There's stuff like this that, that makes me love doing what I do and being an artist, being creative. And the same thing for you guys, you know, watch the stuff that inspires you. And then when you get that creative burst of energy, do it. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one. See you later. Bye bye. Out of time.